And welcome back. You know, on April the 20th, Community Board 7 will host their annual Veterans Brunch. And on March the 24th, their Women's Empowerment Summit will take place also. And they're going to be joining us right here with the details. We have uh, Board Chair Adeline Walker Santiago, and as well as Cole Hawkins. Throw your hands in the air. And Doug Condit, welcome you guys. How are you? Fine. So you guys are doing a whole lot in the community, right, for the veterans and women? Yes. Explain. We're excited. Uh, the board is sponsoring this with the community and our elected officials and with Mass Consultants that we're having a women's second annual vet, um, women's summit uh -huh. right here at Lehman, by the way. This is my alma mater, so I love Lehman. All right. <laughs> so, um, and Lehman's donated the space to the board for this, so we uh -huh. really have to honor Lehman for this. They're doing it for both events, not just the women's event, but our veterans. So our women's summit is this Saturday, and there's limited seats left because uh -huh. we have extraordinary panelists. Uh, we have Vanessa Gibson, our councilwoman, and we have uh, Sandra Erickson, who's a real estate developer. Mm -hmm. And we have Nilda Hoffman, who was our inspector and has now become the chief of community relations yeah. citywide. And we have business owners. We have the commissioner for parks. And uh, we're teaching things about how to launch your business, how to protect your business, how to market your business. And we invite men, too, to come to this event. And uh, we have business owners and we have mentors. This is very special. Uh -huh. There's mentors actually going to sit with you right after lunch, which is a networking lunch, which is very important in business. So come with your business cards. And you're going to have mentors that you can connect with and walk out. You're having a free breakfast and a free lunch. I got to tell you, Bobby, we had nothing. The whole community came so in and chipped fed, in. fed, fed, fed. Yeah. Information, fed, 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 food, everything. Uh, yeah. Now you that, they're getting a bag. Uh-oh. They're going to walk out with the, the bag that's the yeah, logo that with the right hat. Right. There you go. So we have goodies for them, and we have a raffle at the end. Uh, we have Botanical Gardens. We have Bronx Net. We have Lehman College. So many people sponsoring this that it's a community effort. So yeah. I'd like Cole to talk about the veterans event, and this is our veteran, Doug, who's going to be right. one of our honorees. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. All right. Yeah. And that bag it just reminded me, I have something on WBLS that talks about the bag. It says, hey, doctor, what you got in that bag? Oh, it's yeah. A voiceover <laughs> type of thing. It's going to be good. So can I ask you, what, what do you have in that bag? Some goodies. <laughs> 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 you only get them if you come. <laughs> yeah. So you better come. And it's, it's a fun event to bring your whole family. You want women of all ages, uh -huh. okay, and all backgrounds because it's time to empower you. And once you sign up, I think the information is going to be on the screen, secondweeventbrite.com. Uh -huh. You're going to be impressed because the women last year, we thought we were only going to do this once, by the way, Bobby, uh -huh. last year. Yeah, yeah. But the women came up and said, we want this again. It was so fabulous that I, I had to tell going. Mass Consults, can you get the cake? Because they need to know they have to leave. And Cole's here. Cole they Hawkins, yes. chairman of WAM, yes, CB7. Yes. Tell I'm us about I'm the new chair of the Website Acknowledgement and Media Committee. Um, I'm honored to be a part of the committee and a part of the board, and I think it's great the work that's been done over the past couple of years in terms of these events. So I wanted to just keep continuing that. For the Women's Empowerment Summit, we were looking to honor and celebrate the talented women who work and live in our borough and also empower our community members to know that they yeah. can achieve their financial goals. And with the Veterans Bunch, we also wanted to honor our veterans who have served our country and who uh -huh. live in our community and help us on a regular basis. Yeah, so you give the website the look and do all the social media and everything? Right, so that's what we're looking forward to doing this year and going forward. We're looking forward to doing new social media techniques and getting out there and interacting with the community in different ways. So if we go to your website, we see all of your stuff. Yeah. And the website is? Well, it's, it's a group effort. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah you see everybody's work, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you, you put it together. Yeah, so yeah. we're putting it together right now. We've worked a lot on the Facebook in terms of getting this event promoted out there to the community, so we'll be looking to And, do of course, you have a wonderful honoree. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Give Doug Condit another big hand over there, everybody. Here you yeah, go. Home too. Yes. Bravo. All right, thank you for your service. You like it? And uh, what part? They do, are they going to have you work, or are you going to sit back and enjoy? Uh, on the Veterans Honoring Day, I think we're just going to enjoy, uh, sit back and enjoy a meal. Hey, that's what you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, all right. So uh, were you surprised when they gave you the call? I really was, but uh, this is the 50th, 50th anniversary of uh, the Tet Offensive mm -hmm. in Vietnam. And that's when I was called over to Vietnam. 
and the Tet Offensive actually changed Americans' feelings about the war. Before the offensive happened, we had President Johnson who was telling people the war was wandering down, we're winning it, there's no problem. All of a sudden, the North Vietnamese had 80,000 soldiers out there and they attacked American troops from one end of the country to the other. And the American opinion towards the Vietnam War changed overnight. Wow, wow. Yeah. And you were in the middle of this. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. Well, fortunately, I'm here. Yes. You yes. came through. Yes, sir. Thank yes. Thank you for your service. Thank God. I'm glad Thank you. God. So this day is going to be a spe special day. Came yes. up. This is the second annual. Right. And we're going to okay. honor um, about five veterans and their family members. One family member that supported them through their struggle of, of becoming a veteran and the things they have to deal with today. Mm -hmm. So it's a very nice event where the elected officials will honor each veteran privately and come up with their trophies. And it's a brunch. And everybody's invited to go to this event. It's a beautiful event. And uh, for the women's empowerment, besides marketing, we're also teaching you about how to create the right mindset. Because if what you have the right the mindset, that's Saturday the Set. 24th. Okay. So we want you to register and be here at the music faculty dining room. Of course, all that's on the web. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see your eyes. But, you know, it's all, right. all on the web. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so at the faculty dining room, that's where we're going to have our coffee and a little breakfast. And then we go into the Lovinger Theater for the two oh, panels. Excellent. Then we come back to the, love, to the music faculty dining room for a nice networking lunch. And then you're going to sit there with your mentors. And then we have two class, two workshops in the afternoon at 1.30. And um, actually, I'm going to be sharing some secrets of how to have the right mindset, because I'm also a life coach. Yes. And then we're going to come back to the faculty dining room. I'm going to have a raffle, the cake. So, and he's going to do the closing ceremony to recognize everybody that participated. So it's going to be a full day event where you're going to have a lot of connections. So you're going to walk out of there with a mentor. All right. So that's Give me one power. secret on, on the mindset. The mindset? You have to believe with all your heart that this is what you want and nothing's going to stop you. You're unstoppable. And you have to know the ancient techniques of treasure mapping, affirming, visualizing what you want to materialize in your life and that you're going to create it no matter what. Ooh, and you're going to wrap it up? Yes, I'm going to wrap it up. What are you going to say? I'm just going to say that you have to remain dedicated to your goals, and regardless of what obstacles you face, you know that you can overcome them. And you're going to sit back and enjoy the whole thing. Well, absolutely. <laughs> I love Once it. Once again, thank you for your service. We really appreciate thank you. you. Thank and you. congratulations. Thank you. I'm honored to be sitting here with you. Well, I'm honored to be here on your show. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Give them a big round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Paul Hawkins Chair, WRSA Wham. Wham, uh, CB7, and uh, Adeline Walker-Santiago, Chair, Bronx Community Board 7, and Doug Condit, Veteran Honoree. Yeah! All Yay. right, we're going to take a quick break right here, but stay tuned. We'll be right back with more, I promise.